part of Route 611 that connects Monroe and Northampton counties remains closed after nearly two months of being shut down. And this week, PennDOT held a meeting with local officials to come up with a plan in case of emergency calls. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas joins us live from the Control Center with the latest. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning, Sean and Kelly. Yeah, this part of Route 611 is the quickest way for first responders to cross county lines. And with it closed, Interstate 80 is the only other option. Following PennDOT's meeting, they came up with a plan to put up gates for emergency vehicle use. This section of 611 closed back on December 6th due to heavy rain causing a rock slide. It's the second time it was closed in one year. PennDOT says they are developing plans that would take six months to reopen, but they will first need approval from the National Park Service as it owns the property where loose rock is found. At the moment, a 10 mile detour is in place, which local officials say is causing a disruption to traffic. We spoke to Delaware Water Gap's Borough Council President, who says PennDOT's plan to put in gates for responders will temporarily help their response time. If we had a problem uh, half a mile in with a hiker or someone who falls off the side of the mountain for some reason or slides down the side of the mountain, it would have been very difficult to get to that person. So having the emergency gate so that we have access to that area, even though we may not ever need it or have to go into that area, is going to be important. PennDOT says they will hold a meeting soon to speak about detour plans if an incident happens on Interstate 80. And coming up on a later edition of Eyewitness News, hear from a small business owner who says this closure is devastating to its local economy. Sean Kelly. 